Hey, it's Dan. Welcome back. You're watching I Allegedly, and I've got a good one for you today. These are the grants and programs that you asked for, part one. So, you know, as I approach 50,000 subscribers, I wanted to do something nice when I hit 50, and I thought about it. I said, wait a second, why don't we do this now and give everybody that's subscribed to the channel and all the different viewers something nice up front. So that's what you guys are getting. You guys are getting what you want, and because there are so many of them, we're gonna have to break it down in a few different parts. But before we do, please don't forget to like this video, hit the subscribe button, the bell notification, so you get notified on everything that we're doing, and uh, let's get into it. Oh, one thing real quick. Uh, we started a Patreon channel for me, and uh, one thing that I keep getting requested for is, hey, how can we get you, you know, hire you to consult with you? So now you can go to Patreon, you can support the channel for very little money, if you want to step it up and get access to me and have me help your business, there's a second level. And then there's a third level that is incredibly cheap that you can uh, get me to consult for your business. And you get uh, my time and an hour of my time each quarter that uh, we can dedicate, whether it's funding problems, marketing problems, whatever, uh, sales related. I can help you guys with uh, my expertise and what I know. So let's get into it. We had a lot of different people ask for a lot of different things for this video. So the number one thing, the biggest thing was rental assistance. And, you know, the most frustrating part of this is the latest $1.9 trillion stimulus package had a ton of money for rental assistance, $25 billion. Now, this money has not been sent out yet to some of the municipalities. And they know they're getting it. They know how much they're getting. So... We're going to cover rental assistance and we're going to cover the states that you guys want. But do me a favor and watch this entire video because there are resources. There may be a state that you don't live in, but there's so many resources. And I found stuff that I haven't shared before. So you guys are going to see different websites, different things on there. But if you're looking for funding, I found states that I never found this before, but they have all these different resources for business plans and for free stuff on uh, funding and, and crowdfunding and all this stuff. So this is a really cool video and I really like this. And I, it's, it's funny, I said, I can't wait to watch this myself. So um, let's get into it. First things first is rental assistance. A lot of these municipalities and states are running behind, okay? But they're getting this money. So let's get into it and show you what they're coming up with. The latest stimulus program had a huge amount of money, $25 billion for rental assistance. Here's how much each state is going to get. Now, I'm not going to bore you with this because it's basically on income areas and, and uh, population, but this program is being ran through the Treasury Department. So when you contact your local agencies, you need to find out if they've gotten this money yet. But the cool thing about this program is that it can get you up to 12 months of rental assistance. And it also has a three-month cushion built into it so that if you don't pay your rent, and in fact, you're going to be homeless as a result of not having a place to live, maybe you don't have a job, whatever, you can stay an extra three months. If someone has had, you know, they, they filed for unemployment, if somebody is going to experience homelessness, or if you are 80, below 80% 80 of the income level for the area, you can get this program. So... You know, there's an application process. You've got to tell them the truth with transparency. And uh, it just, it, this is not for lazy people that don't want to pay their rent. But this link is included in, you know, below in the description of the video. But here's all the different ways of applying. You've got the PDFs that you can search and, you know, get yourself uh, a part of this money. You've got the listing of who's eligible, statutory provisions, everything about this. That'll make a difference for you guys, regardless of where you're at in the country. Now, how to get COVID relief. Another great article through Investopedia that came out, and it's talking about specifics and how people can get this help. This money is there. This money, you know, they had it when the CARES Act was started, and then they've been extending it, extending it, extending it. But the new $25 billion is going to make a huge difference. And there's also going to be changes made because as we get to the end of uh, January, you still have states that are halting evictions, but this will not end forever. So get yourself ready. Reach out to these organizations and see if you can get some help. Good luck to you. 
Now there's so much with rental assistance and mortgage forbearance that I wanted to cover it in two little segments. So here's the second one. Now the next part of rental assistance is through HUD. HUD has got programs and offices in every state in the country and you can find the rental assistance program in your particular county and your state. Now the cool thing about this, it doesn't make a bit of difference what state you're in, they have these programs. If you don't have any luck with 211 or findhelp.org, check this out. So every state's listed. Let's check Texas. So you live in Texas, you need rental assistance, they've got tons of different programs for you, okay? Now, here's the thing. If they do not offer help with these individual links, call them. And another cool reference is if you need help with your mortgage, here's a list of the banks that are helping people directly. Now, if you call your bank and you say, hey, I want to talk to somebody, they're going to say, great, make your payment. We'll be happy to take your payment. But here's the thing. Every bank has a forbearance program set up and a forbearance department that they don't want you to get to. This is through the Banking Association. I don't care if it's First Bank or Bank of America. They're all listed here alphabetically. This is something that you need to take advantage of. Call these people. Look at what they have. Look at all these banks. I mean, I'm just ripping through these because there's so many. And it's all alphabetical. It, it's, it's got every single one of them. Okay? That does mortgages in the country. Look at that. You know, Oklahoma. Banks that start with an N. Northeastern Bank. Northfield Bank. Check it out. Call them. Get some forbearance. Good luck. Now up next is Alabama. So many people wrote in about Alabama. So here you go, Alabama. Now up first is the CSBG Rental Assistance Program in Alabama. Alabama asked first. They wanted rental assistance and business resources. And Alabama's got a great program right now that you can get rental assistance. And again, this is who you contact to find out if they have that uh, stimulus money. And they've got all the different requirements. You know, they're saying, please allow 30 days for an answer. Some people don't have 30 days. But reach out to these people and get an answer. But here's the one cool thing that they asked for with this was they showed the application to get assistance. Take a look at this. This is what you're going to need if you want to get rental assistance in Alabama. This one in particular is for Jefferson County. But again, who's there? Do not lie on these. Do not fudge them. Be truthful because it's the only thing that's going to help you at this point. Make phone calls. Ask questions. The money's out there. Now, as far as business resources in Alabama, the SBDC is a great resource. They are a subsidiary and are funded through the SBA, but they've got everything from consulting to how to get an EIDL loan, how to get a PPP loan, how to start your business, and they have, in a normal year, they have events and things like that. Reach out to them, get some questions answered, and see if they can help you. Good luck. Up next is Connecticut. A lot of people ask for Connecticut. It's considered to be an affluent state, so you don't think of resources for a state like Connecticut, but there's everything from rental assistance programs, startup programs, a little bit of everything. Let's take a look at Connecticut. Now, the second most requested area was Connecticut. Now, I found this unbelievable funding opportunity page. Look at all this stuff. Whether you're a manufacturer, you're a minority business, you're a small business, they've got all these different links. This will be in the description below, but it's just got resource after resource after resource. If you're a biotech company and you want to start in Connecticut, have at it, man. There's resources for you. Crowdfunding, I mean, look at this stuff. It's just unbelievable. And then check this out. Norwalk, Connecticut. Okay, now you can say, hey, I'm not in Norwalk, but look at the resource that this thing has. They've got small business funding, $5,000 grants in a lottery system. Lottery system is the best way because what they do is they go through, they get everybody that fills out the application between now and February 9th and see who does it right. Then they put them in the batch of potential lottery winners. 
then they pull one and it could be you. But check this out. Look at these other resources that they have from this website. It's got everything in the state. And again, this is why you watch all this stuff because sometimes you go, oh, this doesn't apply to me. I'm not in Norwalk, Connecticut. No, but check this out. Business and financial aid through the state, unemployment insurance, other statewide resources and partners. Look at all these lenders there. BDC Capital, Women's Business Council, Connecticut Small Business Development Center, Community Economic Development Fund. I mean, this is just an absolute gold mine for you guys. So, if you guys are in Connecticut, it's very, very cool stuff. Good luck. And the other thing to think about is that Connecticut had a small business grant program that recently ended. And you can say, Dan, why would you show us something that just ended on December 30th? No, because so many times these people fill things out wrong. They turn people down and the money gets left over. Now that there's new CARES Act money, apply for something like this. Give them your name and email and get on that list for future money. Now up next is Kentucky. Again, another great state for rental assistance programs or startup programs, a lot of different funding. Let's get into it. Now up next is Kentucky. Kentucky's got a bunch of different programs. They've got small business grant programs. They've got rental assistance. They've got mortgage forbearance. You can even get your business, you know, to be made pretty again and clean up the facade. Here's the rental forbearance application. And this is very cool because this program is going on through April 2021. So reach out to them. If you or anybody you know that's in Kentucky, they've got all this information they can uh, give you and get you guys some rental assistance so you, you've got a place to stay. But again, if this is not your area, call them, ask questions. Somerset Leeds, through the SPEDA program, has got many grants that are $2,500 apiece if you're in Kentucky. So the cool thing with this is that, you know, 2500 bucks is 2500 bucks. I mean, that could make a big, big difference on getting a program done. The application, you know, seems pretty simple. Checked out the program guidelines. I mean, you know, this is, this is great strategic planning. Look at all this stuff. You know, the application. You know, I love these things. Just fill it out, man. Send it in. Get your money. How much easier... Could it be? I don't know. All the contact. This will be included in the link below. But take a look, man. That's just, that's really, really cool stuff. Now, Team Kentucky through Community Action Network, these partnerships have everything. They've got assistance for food. They've got assistance for utilities. They've got assistance for everything. Look at all the stuff that you can get help with in Kentucky. People constantly reach out to me and say, oh, there's nothing in Kentucky. There's a ton of stuff in Kentucky. This community outreach program is here in California as well. And so many people get, the, they write checks for utilities. I know somebody that walked in there and got an $800 utility bill paid. So you've got to reach out to these people, ask the right questions. If they can't help you, find out who can. But check out, look at these different counties. Look at all these different offices. Good luck. Now, up next is one of the states that I get asked for a lot. And uh, people say, oh, I can't find anything here. There's nothing in Florida. Well, there's a ton of stuff in Florida. But the cool thing I found today is I found a bunch of resources for Florida. So take a look at this. Enjoy. Let's take a look at Florida. Now, up next is Florida. They have an amazing program. They have a Rebuild Florida business loan that can get you twenty-five grand. Or more and uh, the money's out there so you may say hey I don't want to borrow money watch this entire Florida section because I've got so much information here it's crazy now the Enterprise Florida's got small business programs they've got capital programs which are loans which are grants a little bit of everything they've got a microfinance guarantee program which is a small business loan program that can get you money for your business immediately. Now, I mean, Florida, it's a great state, wealthier state. They've got all these different resources, but they do have all these different programs. Check this out. Getting rid of the fees, got to employ less than 25 people. I mean, come on, man, this money's there. 
HUD again, you know, people keep saying, oh, there's nothing in HUD. There's so many programs through HUD. And Florida is a huge state that's got all this different access through HUD. But Florida has a huge program for rental assistance right now. So, and it's all ran through HUD, guys. So start making the phone calls to get yourself the rental assistance. Now, here's the best part that I found. And this is the Florida Community Loan Fund. Now, people are saying, I don't want to borrow any money, Dan. I don't care if you want to borrow money. Look at all the resources that they have for all these different grants that are on this one page I found. This is insane. Tampa Bay, Pinellas, Sarasota, Lee County, Palm Beach County. I mean, come on, man. This is great. Unbelievable. Just a total plethora of you know resources. I love stuff like this, man. This is something you could go through hours. If you're in Florida or you have a friend or business owner in Florida, have them watch this video. The link will be below, but check it out. Look at all this stuff. Look at these resources you can get. This is absolutely amazing. So there's money out there. Good luck. Now up next is North Carolina. And again, what I found with North Carolina, if you are a business owner, they have these different resource sites here that are absolutely amazing. And I cannot wait to go through this because they've got PDFs on how to start a business, crowdfunding, how to raise money, resources, grants, everything. Before I keep talking, let's take a look at North Carolina. Now, the last one in this video is North Carolina. Now, even if you're not in North Carolina, you have to see all the resources that they have here because it can help many people in many states. I've got all the links here. It's got links to all the different counties. They've got resources to prevent eviction through 211, plus they've got other resources. The advantage to the link that you're going to see below is it's got every county on it as well. Health insurance, help getting food. Resources if you're facing eviction. I mean, they've got all this. And it's just absolutely a plethora of information. Now, the other cool thing is that it just it covers everything. It's the problem with these state and city-run and county websites is sometimes you'll go there and say, this application process is closed, so people go away. You need to scan down. You need to get some phone numbers. You need to pick up the phone and say, hey... You know, do you guys have the rental assistance? Look at all these different numbers. You call the legal assistance numbers too and answer and get them to answer your questions. Now, here's the 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 gold mine that I found on this thing. North Carolina's got this resources page that I'm sure most people don't even mess with, but check this out. It's got business plan resources. If you're starting a business, I don't care if you're in Timbuktu or North Carolina, they've got all these different PDFs to how to start a business, how to write a business plan, all these different resources, all these different resources on marketing, marketing seminars and workshops that they have. Now, if these are online, sign up for them. Different financing resources, general resources, business capital programs, you know, I mean, look at this, loan programs, crowdfunding, grants and loans, there you go, guys, for your business, all these different grant programs and different loan programs that they have. You know, these six funds provide between fifty and one hundred and twenty-five thousand in seed stage capital, which is early startup, which you don't even have a business yet. Business loan and growth programs, North Carolina funding, self health credit union. God, I mean, look at this stuff. Okay, there's all the state phone numbers. Here's the federal programs through Grants.org, and you know, if you're going to offer securities in North Carolina, you you know the SBA statewide programs, but this is stuff. When you find these things, people go, oh, I'm not in that state. No, check it out. Look what they've got. Look at these resources. If they've got a PDF that you can download to start a business or or get a loan and see what you need, use these resources. But North Carolina, I've gotten a lot of complaints about North Carolina. Look at minority loan programs, general programs. Look at all this stuff. Oh, there's nothing here in North Carolina. There's a ton. Hispanic programs. Government contracting. You want to sell to the government in North Carolina? There you go. There's also the phone numbers. But this is just an absolute gold mine. Good luck. Hope you guys enjoyed all this. Okay, this was just part one, guys. So there's going to be multiple parts to this thing. So thank you. Uh, again, 
onward and upward as we hit 50,000 subscribers to this channel. I am grateful for each and every one of you. Uh, if you want to support the channel, this takes days sometimes to do this. Like this video, you know, from yesterday until today, it took a long time to put this thing together. Um, if you want to support the channel through the Patreon, it would be truly appreciated. If you want access to me, if you want to join uh, the private live streams and things like that, it's a little bit more. And if you want me to consult for your business, it is never cheaper than it will be on the Patreon. So uh, we're trying to figure out how many of these people we can actually do at this. But take a look at it. Hope you guys will support it. Uh, that's the end of my commercial. But uh, again, uh, we're making these uh, one after another. So uh, the you know as people ask the questions, we're researching it for you. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the bell notification so you get notified on everything. Please like the video. Please share it with your friends and colleagues. And again, I love videos like this because this will be the one that I'm gonna send to my friends and say, hey, look at this, look at all the stuff I found and all the resources for your business. So good luck and I will see you guys very soon.